There were four of us. George and William Samuel Harris and myself and Montmorency. We were sitting in my room, smoking and talking about how bad we were. Bad from a medical point of view, I mean, of course. With me, it's giddiness. It's giddiness with me, too. Mm. Sometimes I have such extraordinary fits of giddiness, I hardly know what I'm doing. Well, I hardly know what I'm doing, too. I have such extraordinary fits of giddiness. With me, it's my liver that's out of order. Oh, how do you know? Well, I've been reading this patent liver pill circular, which sets out the various symptoms by which a man can tell when his liver is out of order. I have them all, including what it calls a, a general disinclination to work of any kind. I've got that, too. I've been a martyr to it since earliest boyhood. I was born with it. They didn't know it was my liver. Of course, medical science was in a far less advanced state than now. They used to give me a clump on the side of the head. Didn't do any good. Oh, body. Yes. We well, sat there I... describing to each other our maladies. I explained to George and Harris how I felt when I got up in the morning. And Harris told us how he felt when he went to bed. And George stood on the hearthrug and gave us a clever and powerful piece of acting, illustrative of how he felt in the night. George fancies he is ill, but there's never anything really the matter with him. Mrs. Poppins. Supper? I suppose one should try. A cousin of mine, who is usually described on the charge sheet as a medical student, once told me that something in the stomach often keeps disease in check. Steak and onions and rhubarb pie. Mm. What we need is a rest. Rest and a complete change. Leave the 19th century behind. Seek out some quaint, forgotten nook, far from the madding crowd, half as old as time. What we need is a sea trip. No, no, no. I remember once. Not now, old chap. Why don't we go up the river? Fresh air? The changing scene will occupy our minds, including what there is of Harris's. And the exercise will make us sleep well. I agree. I think it a very sensible idea. It just goes to show that you should never write off a man just because he's never had a sensible idea before. I propose. Second. Aye. Any against? Carried by three to one. The Thames, couched in that green and golden valley, winding and whispering, singing of strange old tales and secrets as it flows under the fair canopy of England's sky through England's history. Our little boat, borne along on sun-dappled waters through shady woods and blazing fields. How about when it rains? That's Harris all over. When George is hanged, Harris will be the least romantic man in the world. <laughs>